Welcome to MTD CNC TV Studios. Today I'm joined by Nick from MA4. Welcome, Nick. Thank you. Now, engineers, we face a lot of cutting with materials, different materials, but what MA Ford have produced here is some composite tooling based on a growing need. Nick, can you tell me a little bit more about the portfolio that you have? Well, as, as, as you're aware, Mark, you know, a lot of composites are now used in, in aircraft manufacturing, uh, automotive, sports goods. So there's a lot of uh, composite type materials out there. Uh, the main one being CFRP, carbon fibre reinforced plastic, which is which is extensively used within the industry. Um, what we've addressed is uh, specific routers. As you, there's a range of routers here, um, all from diamond grind routers to compression routers, whatever you know, whatever the customer requires. Different lengths, different end geometries. If they're plunging, trimming, whatever they happen to be doing. Um, what we have here is our Series 239 router, which has actually just received Boeing approval. Mm -hmm. um, which is a big, a big plus for us. Um, so, you know, that's obviously, it, customers can rest assured that obviously, you know, Boeing have approved this router. So, you know, the, the quality and the performance is, is up there. Uh, so there's a range of diameters and, and uh, end geometries, depending on what they need to do, uh, specifically or specially ground uh, to reduce flaking and delamination, uh, amorphous diamond coating, which is, which is a little bit special to us. Um, and, and, and as, we've, as you can see here, we've put together a range of, a range of tools. And with a lot of our uh, standard products, they start life as a special. We make them for somebody who had a specific application. Um, our custom tools division in the US in this particular instance, they made a tool and it, it worked extremely well. Is, it, is, it, is that the same sort of um, profile that you have in the UK? In other words, if a customer's got a specific need, a bit like Boeing with the material they were cutting, you, you, be, you produce a product that works and then you can actually filter it out into other areas. For sure, it happen, happens regularly. You know, we, we develop a special tool in Leeds for a customer in the UK or in Europe. He, he, the customer runs it, it works great. We then, th we then say, okay, well, is there, is there a bigger market for that type of tool? And what kind of range do we need? So we're, we're very quick to react. Uh, if, we, if we find something that works and it works well, you know, we'll try and get something in place so we can open it out to the rest of our, our customer base. Well, having someone like Boeing, blue chip uh, aerospace manufacturer, it, it says no more. But when you're talking about the, the, the routers, what, what makes MA Ford routers different to what's in the marketplace? Well, I think, you know, routers are, are generally routers. They're all, they're all uh, similar in lots of ways. Um, you know, compression router, for example, there, um, you know, that, that is used for a specific application, you know, where, where you, do, you, need the, you need the forces going down, but you also need to trim the bottom edge without it uh, flaking or delaminating. So compression, doubters, compression routers, I'm sorry, or up-down routers or whatever you happen to want to call them, you know, they tend to be um, pretty general across, across the market. All we've really done here is we've brought what we feel is, is, a, is a very, very good uh, diamond grind router design to the marketplace um, and as I've already mentioned because it's approved by Boeing we feel it's it's certainly one that uh, should be considered as, a, as an option against uh, for people who are machining those types of material for sure. Um, and for engineers that uh, are not just uh, using routers but also the the other aspects now th these tools that I'm, I'm seeing here I, I've not seen uh, let's say this colour. What, right. what, what makes that different, Nick? Well, this is actually um, this was something that was developed in the in a university with M A Ford and the university in in, um, in in America. And what this is our uh, ceramic coating, which is we which we call it Cerreg. Now, the big advantage of Cerreg is, as you can see here, it can be applied to a range of tools. Here we have a, a drill. Um, this is basically our Brad and Spur drill. So this is one way you can actually drill a hole and get no get get no delamination when it breaks through. We have a series of end mills. Because Sarah Edge, the big advantage within the, the aerospace industry is what you do is you have some customers that are machining stacks. So yeah. you have a, a, a layer of CFRP and a layer of titanium or aluminium, then CFRP. And you can get a sandwich, what they call a, a sandwich. Now the problem is with that is those all those materials all react very differently when they're machined. You know, CFRP is very, very abrasive. Um, aluminium is very easy to machine, uh, so you know you've got you've got very different elements within within the uh, within the manufacturing process. With Cerreg, because the hardness of it is second only to industrial diamond, it allows us to machine the very very abrasive material, which is the CFRP, 
because we are applying it to aluminium geometry uh, tools, we can machine the aluminium uh, part of the sandwich as well. And with the titanium, because it is non-reactive with titanium, it'll machine the titanium as well. So it's it's a, a, a very good cost uh, cost effective solution. Rather than using expensive diamond coated or PCD type tools, we can apply that coating to standard cutting tools. And with technology transfer, I presume you could uh, sell these products into the Formula One companies, for instance, because they're, they're having the stacking issues as well, oh, I would imagine. For sure, Any, anywhere where there's a stack material. I mean, the, the good thing with the serrage coating as well, because it's non-reactive to titanium, um, but it also is very, very um, abrasion resistant, we can apply it to our titanium, standard titanium tools, put the new coating on it. And for customers who want a very, it's a very lubricious coating, so it's very, very smooth. Uh, so we have customers machining titanium with it, and they are finding you know an, in, a, an increase in the tool life. Um, so you know we can we, we're very much a solution provider rather than just being the standard range of tools. If there's a special application, we can we can normally adapt and we can make something to work. You, you talk about uh, obviously some of the products uh, at Boeing, obviously coming from your head office uh, uh, in America. But are you manufacturing these tools in the UK? The, rout the routers are not made here, the routers are all made in the US. Um, going forward, um, as that, as that, as if that range of products expands and we, we have a much more bigger metric requirement, because still within a lot of, uh, a lot of companies you go to, that a lot of them are using inch tools, you know, so, um, but as that product expands and we need to maybe manufacture metric tools, they could be done in the US or we may transfer the, the specs and all the programs over and we can make them here in Leeds. So, I mean, obviously composites is quite a challenging uh, material and a lot of uh, engineers, I would imagine their customers are changing materials all the time, you know, looking at better ways, lighter, stronger, etc. But you've got a portfolio of products. But I suppose your USP at MA Ford is very much high performance is the standard. That's you, that really is your USP, isn't it? Well, we, we, we think so. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's many, many competitors out there. Um, and, you know, we, we, we t we've used that strap line for some time now, you know, where high performance is the standard. And I think our customers would, would generally agree with that statement. Um, you know, they buy, they buy a tool from MA Ford and they know the quality they will get. They know the performance they will get. And as, as I've mentioned in previous, you know, when I've been here before, you know, our p price to performance ratio is very, very good. Well, you don't get blue chip companies like uh, Boeing take your products, do you, if they're not? at the level they need to be. Well, exactly. Okay, thanks Nick. Well, for those engineers that want to contact MA Ford about any portfolio of products, but especially the composites products, please use the details on the screen.